What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, a.k.a. Tank, and the other host is... Goose, baby. How y'all doing? Already. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. It's a podcast we do every week, and we talk about all the all the topics, all the hot topics, the cold topics, the family stuff, the dating and love and all that crap, mm-hmm. manly stuff, and it's coming from two black men that are uh, two black men, two black husbands, two black fathers, Uncles, brothers, blah, 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 everything. That's why it's called Let Us Tell It, because it's coming from us. Yeah. I just want to say this we, real quick. Oh, we, go ahead. We hit on everything. We hit on everything. Like pansexuals. <laughs> just told that motherfucker we wasn't going to talk about that. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Let me say this real quick, though. Okay, go ahead. This is episode number, where are we at? 80, the one we're recording right now is episode 88. Mm-hmm. 87 or 88. I done started 88, started this thing 88 times just like the way I just started it. Mm-hmm. So I got, as y'all know, I got another podcast. Uh, this is going to cause an argument with Angel. Mm-hmm. I Every now and then I'll leave that podcast too. I'll open it up. I cannot, for the life of me, not do the opening of this one. <laughs> what you mean? Like when instead of the way, because me and her go, uh, "What's happening, family?" She says, "What's happening?" Welcome oh, okay. back to another episode, and then we say it together. Is this gonna cause an argument? Mm. I start in strong as hell every time with this one. What's happening, fam? Let us welcome back to another episode. Uh, that ain't because already. As soon as I say uh, what's happening, I need to pause and let her come in and say hi, y'all, or whatever the hell she gonna do. That chick ain't uh, uh, all that shit. Damn me read them. Anyway, usually we start this off with getting something off our chest. I'm gonna chime in on the uh, intros from now on, man. So you can say no. We need to keep it the same. And then I'm like, no, because if you change it, I'm gonna f- up for like six more weeks. Today, <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> Let us tell it. Nah, because we won't get past okay. the episode without getting canceled with you. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though. That was cool. Oh yeah, <laughs> love it. Uh, I hey, can start we off. Start this off with getting us something off our chest. Goose, what you want to get off your I chest? I want to get the laws of the land off my chest, man. Uh, you sound like you in the western man. <laughs> the laws, the laws of the of land. The land. <laughs> You're herding <I'm>, cattle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's eye for an eye, two for a tooth around here. Yeah. That's that's what I believe in. Uh, I'm saying this because another uh, squatter video came across my feed. And this lady in New York, she went to her house, a million dollar home. She has de- has the deed to her house in her hand. She walks up to the door. The door is unlocked, so she didn't break in. She walks in. She sees uh, squatters there. She tells them to leave. Some leave. Some don't. She calls the police. The police come, escort some of the squatters out that were obviously squatting and they they didn't belong there, so they escorted some of them off. And she got a locksmith to come. As the locksmith is there changing the locks, the officers were like, hey, just want to let you know you can't kick anybody out illegally. If somebody comes and try to get in, they might have rights to live here. So she's like, well, they can take me to court just like I have to take them to court. I'm locking these doors. They're trying to lock the door. The squatter, I guess this is the main squatter uh, that knows his rights or whatever. He comes and he busts through the door. Damn, then knocks over the lady. The news crew is filming this. This is how we're seeing this stuff. So the uh, police officers are in the car about to leave. The squatter calls the police officers back and was like, this lady's trying to kick me out of my house. I have a lease, this, that, and another. And everybody's like, well, where's your lease? Who are you leasing this from? He doesn't want to provide the information. The lady changed the locks. The police end up arresting her and leaving the squatter in that house. They would have had to arrest me. Where's the Assault common battery. sense, man? <laughs> the charges that would have racked up on my behalf. 
on all the as soon as I walked in the house, I would have been grabbing for man, get your yeah. blah, get your I mean grabbing collars and belt buckles, man, just throwing people up out of here. I would specifically purchase oh, a dog, train, get the dog yeah. trained. Belgium Malaway. Yeah, just, <laughs> and just open the door and be like yeah, yeah, nah, and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, mess up Get everybody. <laughs> everybody. Oh, you want to stay in here? Well, the dog going to be with you. You Man, where is the common sense? They said he showed his bills. Did he show his ID? Like, that would have pissed me off. I didn't. Oh, man. Okay. Him showing his bills uh, don't mean jack squat at all. Unless he, had, unless he has bills. For two years, and it, uh, you know what? The bills don't mean jack sh- unless he has a lease. And the owner of the house who has the deed is like, I did not rent this to this person, or I did rent to this person. It, it's not justifiable. I can go forge some stuff and say I lived here for however long, or I'm paying bills here, or uh, get my address changed to this address. That doesn't give you the right to come occupy my space and then I have to take you to court and pay to get you out? I Look, we got a bunch of intelligent and knowledgeable people in Patreon so I'm going to ask them real quick. Where did this squatting rights shit come from? That's the question. That's why, where, where, when did it come legal for somebody to not, not pay rent, not leave a premises that they don't own and make it illegal for them to be removed from the property by the person that actually owns it. Why did that become a thing? And I understand. Yeah. I saw we got uh Galactus said it uh, got more aggressive after the pandemic. I understood during the pandemic. It was a, yeah, yeah. it was a global pandemic. Yeah. I get that. But even before, and especially now things is back up and going at the most, you got one or two people, Wearing a mask at the absolute most. This ain't no more pandemic. We are past that. How they said Christopher Columbus started. <laughs> <laughs> he probably it started did. with slavery. His old everything punk started ass. with slavery. I can let you know that right now. All, everything Columbus crooked. Punk um, it makes no like it pisses me off just to hear about these type of. I ooh to be in this position. Can you imagine? You go on vacation. Oh, I'm gonna be. Uh, yo, yeah, I'm gonna have a record and I'm gonna be famous. Yeah, that's, you, know, you heard about that one dude that had that podcast and the squatters came in there and he. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a book about it. <laughs> something after all my charges and convictions and I get out. Oh, I'm gonna be flourishing. Let me see here. Let me let me let me check. I don't know if these squatters find the right like. It yeah. seems like they find the right person to do it to. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, this woman, she was by herself and she literally was closing the door and the guy forced his way in. But if it was her and her husband or her her and another man. He wasn't black, was he? Nah. nah. Yeah. Let him let him bust up through her. Let let him been black oh. busting up in that house oh, of course. under the same circumstances. They would have shot that dude. He was being aggressive. All type of stuff. But it seems like these squatters find the right, somehow find the right timid person to do that to because if you if I have to evict you out of the home that's fine okay I'm yeah. staying here with you I'm not walking out and right. you have all rain or, bruh you gonna you gonna stay here that's fine and you gonna stay in this square you better not walk out of this square we fighting every day I'm beating your ass every day <laughs> you step nah. out of this space period if I even grace him that, because there's no way I'm walking into my my property and you tell me you ain't getting out. I'm just going to give him a, uh, I'm going to be very transparent and just let him know, hey, I just bought fire insurance. Mm. And just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought fire insurance. So, uh, you do with that what you will. Hey. <laughs> we, you can either leave or stay. I'm just letting you know. Light them up. <laughs> I bought fire insurance. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm telling you, I'm buying a dog, a vicious dog, mm-hmm. and that mother gonna be just roaming around the house. You stay if you want to, whatever. It 
I hate the fact that people can act like this and have no repercussions. But then yeah. when I slip on one issue or one assignment at my job, you want to fire me. Mm-hmm. Or, or or I don't do something right one time, it, people blow the shit up. Know where it came from? That's how that's how the Europeans came to America. Mm. They just showed up on somebody else's land and said, "Hey, we ain't leaving." <laughs> that's exactly that's how what it started. Them, y'all you appearance <laughs> and you can't blame squatters. it on Christopher Columbus because his ass never stepped foot on North America at yeah. all. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't land on Plymouth or nothing. His ass got his crew slaughtered by the natives of the islands because he left them there. They're the they're the Thanos, <laughs> the Thanos of squatters, the, Th- the, Euro- <laughs> the Europeans. Yeah. California Land Act of 1851. That sounds like some more California. Why is this still a law? That's disgusting. Anyway, I got something I want to get off my chest. Uh, There's a commercial that I often see. (laughs) Recently, I've seen it. I think, I don't know, it's one of the, the... Cat food commercials, meow mix, or not, it's not, might not even be, I don't know who it is. There's a lady sitting on her couch Mm -hmm. and she's got her little gray and black cat sitting on the, on her shoulder and she's got a kid running around upstairs playing. You hear a bloom, kid yells downstairs, mom, I fell. She's like, get a band aid. You know, she keeps petting the cat. He's like, mom, I'm bleeding. Just get two. She keeps petting the cat. Why do white people love their pets more than their own? kids and family why is that cute and funny why is that a thing why is that okay to put out why is there not an uproar about this woman neglecting her child that's probably bleeding upstairs could need a tetanus shot (laughs) but her priority is the cat which is just first of all any pet cat is a prisoner because a cat can survive in any conditions you ain't never seen a cat starve to death Mm because it will eat anything it's designed by god to survive everything Mm-hmm. Damn near like a roach. It's a roach with claws and, and veins. You know how roaches survive like nuclear <laughs> holocaust and stuff? A cat is going to survive. It don't need you to help it survive. You can just let it outside and it'll be fine, even if it's been inside its whole life. Cats be roaming all through the neighborhood. Look, Angel did a brand deal. This was years ago. It was, it was a wine cooler thing, I think. I can't remember what company it was, but basically the whole premise was, you know, needing a break, being a busy mom. You know, she finally got a break, so she went and had her wine cooler in the closet, like hiding in the laundry room or something and drank. They had to pull that campaign because it was such a big roar, big uproar among the Karens. Oh, why is this? This is this is so offensive. Why do you have to be an alcoholic to be a good mother? And I'm like, what? How'd y'all get that from that? But this is okay that this woman can just neglect her children and sit here and stroke this damn cat that's sitting on her shoulder. <laughs> it just, it, it's crazy how much more they love, value an animal's life over a human's life. I, yes. I've, my uh, um, Instagram feed is always showing me these people kissing their dogs, their cats. You they, know how them things clean themselves? All, all in their mouths. <laughs> they be doing all types of stuff. Dogs and cats both lick their own genitalia yeah, that they man. piss and shit out of. Uh, skip uh, scooping food with the same spoon, giving the dog some, and then licking it themselves. Uh, I, I know I mentioned this before about this lady allowing her dog to lick some wounds on her legs, and then the bacteria yeah. from uh-huh. his mouth, she had to get her legs amputated. Amputated. Yeah. I don't I don't know what it is, man. I don't I do not know. Slowly but surely though, everybody is 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 bringing their dogs in the house. Slowly but surely, all their pets are now in their bedrooms. Slowly but surely, they they're taking baths with their dogs. They're doing they're doing everything with these animals. When I grew up, that dog stayed in the backyard, in the cage, or wrapped around a tree. When somebody <laughs> came up the driveway, whoo, somebody's here. Somebody trying to break in the house, whoo, somebody's here. He's just letting you know, that's, hey, they breaking in your house, playboy. That, that's what the dogs are there for. They were there for protection, not for 
hey, this is my Look. son. This is I have three kids. I have Johnny, Elizabeth, and Terrence. This dog. This ain't new. This is just because we got phones and people recording it now. That's what I think. Be honest with you. Like I think they've been doing it. Look, I. Oh I my don't God. think. I don't think. Um. No, I don't think we've. I, for them, maybe. For the black community, I don't. I just ain't never went to a black home where there was a dog, literally in the house. And just like eating at the table, oh, and yeah. and doing this this stuff with animals. It's We've had crazy. indoor dogs, but that dog did not get on the furniture. They ain't definitely get on no goddamn Man. countertop or no table. All right, my niece Victory has damn near got kicked out of my house multiple times because she will pick up Lottie and sit at the table, and I'll be like, "Get that damn dog away from my table!" Yeah. But I'm holding her. I don't give a damn. Don't yeah. do that shit. Yeah. It's disgust. That dog runs around outside all up on the dirt. Don't do that. I don't care if you are holding her. She's next to where we eat. I don't it I is, don't play that. Man. We like I said, we've had indoor dogs, but this type, like this whole just this morning, I stopped somewhere, get me some breakfast. This dude walks in with this little bitty, I don't know, it wasn't even a cocker spaniel. I could tell it was some type of hybrid because it had it had hair and not fair. Mm. Anyway, he just walks in, just let the dog just going about his business, walk, running up to people. I'm just thinking in my mind, because he done jumped on everybody. I guess he sensed my energy, like, all right, he ain't the one. Because mm. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't mind the dog. I can't stand the owner. Yeah. Because you shouldn't be letting your dog do that. Yeah. Now, if my dog was still alive, I walk up in there with a 120 pound Connie Corso, mm. and he jumping up on. Now there's a problem. Yep. You don't know if I'm allergic. You don't know if I'm terrified of dogs. Mm-hmm. You don't know if I even like that. I might be crazy. Just pick your dog up and drop him in the hot grease. Yep. Don't let your dog come over and touch me. That shit is rude. I don't want to let my kids run up and touch you. I just about to say, so I ain't go for your children. Yeah, you don't mm-hmm. let your kids run up and touch because you might do something. I might do something to your dog too. Anyway, it just annoys me that there's a there's a huge concern and love for dogs and seems like lack of for kids. Like that commercial that seems to be doing fine because they, I've been seeing it as I'm watching my NBA uh, games. <laughs> this damn commercial <laughs> keeps coming on and it annoys the shit out of me. I I don't understand the 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 uh, that connection between the owner and the the pet. Yeah, um, Lottie knows she can't even come up and sit next to people as they're eating. Yeah, give people they expect go. Yeah. I, I understand you love your dog because I, I had pets. I loved my pets. Mm-hmm. When my dogs died, we dug a hole in the backyard, put them in there. All right, play boy. I let you. Ground it w- too hard out here in California. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, my, my, oh, my yeah, dog. Oh, yeah, people go into these morning uh, and morning. have a casket made. Get, man, look, my dog Supreme, I had to get him put down of old age. I snotted and cried in that damn parking lot for about 45 minutes. I went home, let her, let the kids and Angel know, yeah, we had gone, put them down. That guy said, the next day they was fine. The day after that, I was fine. Yeah. People would say, oh, they're like children. They ain't. Have a child. And if you can compare your child to your dog's life, if you can say my, that they equal, you don't deserve children. One of my friends compared him him because he breed dogs. And he was like, why? I'm telling you, these just like kids. I was like, bro, you one, you don't have any children. So you can't say that. Second, don't ever say that shit to me again. Yeah. You You, breed dogs, that means you giving them away and selling them. You you cannot tell me. None of you can tell me. A damn animal is on the level of my child. No. of a child, period. Any child. You that dog can die, and you can damn near buy that same dog <laughs> at PetSmart tomorrow. You can, you can literally look up and be like, yeah, it look just like Scruffy. Let me get another one. <laughs> Dumbass. No Ooh. dog is com is is not your damn daughter or your son, damn it. Shit. Yeah, it's annoying. That is it's it's so I'm glad I got your blood pressure up. It's so annoying. <laughs> 
And if it I'm into a Starbucks and your dog walk up on me without a co- without you holding it, I'm slapping the shit out your dog. Now, nah, yeah, I'm. Why don't you slap? I him? feel, I feel unsafe. <laughs> if they come up on me sniffing me, I'm gonna smack them too. You come up on me yeah. sniffing me. Yeah, my problem. Get back. Yeah, my problem ain't even. It's the owners. It's, I can't stand that. Oh, I hate it. Anyway, speaking of neglect and children. I got one call. I don't know what I would call it because I ain't seen the special yet. Man, it's neglect and it's abuse. It? Quiet on set. When I tell you all, I can't explain it all. You have to go watch this this Netflix special. Give Dan, me the, the simple breakdown of it. Dan Schneider, Schneider, Nickelodeon, Schneider. Um. Um. This president, other this, CEO. Nah, he wasn't the president. He was just like the showrunner, right? Or like he produced the show. Uh-huh. Nickelodeon just put all their trust in him into um producing the show, a successful show, which he did. Kudos to him. He made shows go to the to the moon. Uh but he disrespected the women and he was very inappropriate with all the girls on set. So he had girls on set um, pouring water on their on themselves, talking about, "Oh, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty." Laying on a bed, kids. It, yes, laying on flat on the bed. It was with, what? Yes, when she was a little girl, laying on the bed, her head hanging off the bed this way, pouring water, saying, "Oh, I'm so thirsty. I want water." Yes. Then, yes, man, crazy, crazy. Then he had. This little black boy with a costume that looked like a penis and balls on his nose, on his shoulders, and he had nothing like spandex on. Um, and the and the young man in the video was like, "Man, I'm a growing boy. I got spandex on. You can just see my junk. I'm just out on set, blase blase." Uh, then he had these two women. He's paying them. One a one person set so sixty thousand dollars is the salary for this position. I'm gonna split it in between. I'm gonna split it amongst you two, but you all will be the two writers. And the women are like, these. This is our dream job. We ain't about to turn down our dream job. Hopefully we'll get a raise. Hopefully we this that and none of that ever happened. This dude was Man. a terror, and now. He's on YouTube now answering to all of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to do that. Man, this guy was an animal to these folk, man. Man. Crazy to these folk. On top of that, was it Drake and Bell? Is that the name of that show, Kennedy? Drake and Josh. Drake Drake Bell is the person, right? I just found it out right before. I didn't know. Uh, Drake Bell was an actor or is an actor. Uh what's that dude name? Brian Peck was the the producer of the show mm. or his manager or whichever way. Brian Peck maneuvered his way around the um around Drake Bell's family, got his mom out the way, got his dad out the way, and now Drake Bell is Going to all his auditions with Brian Peck, staying with Brian Peck sometimes, just doing everything with this guy. This guy molests Drake Bell, right? And gets 16 months, a 16 month sentence from the judge. That's it. You got, what's his name? Obviously, I don't believe Drake Bell was the only person he's ever did this to i'm quite sure there's plenty of you guys out here in that entertainment world that's been touched by this man but you got what's that r kelly in jail bill cosby in jail uh there's another um inter- weinstein weinstein is weinstein uh, in jail he die? no that's epstein that epstein. died i don't even know if weinstein locked up uh, but you got yeah. all these guys getting time and you gave this man 16 months. On top of that, y'all, I'm telling you, go look at this, this 
this special. On top of that, in the courtroom, I mean, before court, other celebrities wrote letters of integrity for this. Like, hey, I'll work with this guy tomorrow. This guy's an upstanding. Oh, he must have. It must have been something real serious happening for him to break like that. He's not that type of person. They, they were blame. They were blaming Drake Bell. His these people. The oh, kids that got yes taken advantage of. What is it when you you do those letters of um, Le, uh, recommendation or uh, like recommendation? But you their character. They, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're character them, witness or character. I don't know, man. They they called it something. But anyway, and when you when y'all see the people that was supporting this rapist. Y'all are going to flip out. These are like today well-known celebrities walking amongst us, getting awards that supported, vouched. Adam Bryan was pen pals with John Wayne Gracie, who's the uh, uh, serial killer who dressed up like a clown. Mm. When he was in jail, they were sending each other letters. He even got a sign. Man. Let me let, tell you what. Let me uh, tell you. This is. <laughs> I ain't seen it yet. I was. Uh, they were telling me like the the breakdown of the whole thing. This type of stuff right here. That was good because I started this off. I said you know speaking of neglect because I I can't call it neglect because I ain't seen it. I don't know what all happened. But as a being a child on set, I don't understand how a parent could just release their children to something like that. Like. Even without knowing the stuff that I know now, if I'm going, if my child is going to work professionally somewhere, it being my child at a young age, I'm going to be there every step. They ain't going nowhere without me. That's not knowing anything about any industry. I, I, I even it's Rudy Huxtable. I'm her daddy. I'm right there on set. Man, everywhere she go, all of these, and and even and you can't even say that with all parents. Cause our parents ain't ain't cut the, from the same cloth. Mm -mm. There's parents that like, well, honey, this is just what it takes because they money hungry. Too, it's it's just sad. Like, God dang, it's sad, sad. I was telling Greg, I was like, I don't. I'll give this a shot. I'll try to start watching, but stuff like this just infuriates me even more. Beyond entertainment, I don't know if I would be able to finish watching it. It's you're gonna want to finish watching it because it's gonna. These people are these shows are some of the shows that you grew up on or these characters that you've seen. But you're going to I kept watching first because it's interesting. Second, I'm like, OK, they had to put this guy underneath the jail. No, they didn't put him underneath. The, what the what? Man. To to Drake's they Drake Bell's. They would have to to Drake Bell's father's defense. You haven't seen it yet. The dad said he tried to protect him. The dad was like, look. I don't want my son around this man. Blase, blase. Like, do not allow my son around him. Uh, Brian Peck started telling Drake Bell, hey, nobody on set really likes your dad. He's this, he's that. We need to get him away from here. He shouldn't show up no more. So Drake Bell is there saying, man, I'm 13, 15. I want to be this. I want to be that. You know, they made me feel like my dad was doing this. I had no clue he wasn't. So then the dad wasn't with the mom, right? So now everybody's complaining to the mom about the dad. So the mom is like, hey, leave him alone. And the dad is like, man, I wanted the best for my son. And I wanted him to have what he wanted. So I was like, fine, but y'all keep Brian Peck away from him. That didn't happen. Man, let me tell you what. Ain't nobody gonna be able to dread. Ain't no other, specifically no other man. Ain't nobody gonna be able to put a wedge between me and none of my kids. Like it, it's gonna go far beyond of what it actually was it, when it's me. It's like I'm gonna find you by yourself. And that's it's what, gonna be some things. Oh. He's gonna, he gonna next time you talk to my son, yeah. you're gonna be terrified. I'm sorry, I won't be able to deal with you anymore. Even if you get fired, oh well. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what ain't about to happen. And and that's the thing too about I now looking at this uh, show too though you see why they keep strong willed people especially black people away mm -hmm. from the situation because the black boy he was like um, man I was gonna tell my mom I didn't feel comfortable but 
my mom was gonna blow up the whole situation. And then they go to her and she's like, I was like, hold up. This is her. Mm -hmm. She's like, hold up. Y'all don't find this joke inappropriate? Like, what is happening? Blase, blase. Jokes so, on set? Yeah, jokes on set. Like, she was, and then eventually they got her up out of uh -huh. there. You can't have us in situations like that yeah. because the little black boy or the little black girl, I'm like, why are you touching me like that? What's this? What's that? You know, <laughs> we go. We're going to voice our feelings. At least at least one of us yeah. will. And the way they have this whole entertainment industry under this pedophile and sexual umbrella. You so said they worked on Sweet Life with Zach and Cody. It's crazy. After that. Yeah, let's see. It's, it's crazy. These systems are set up to keep these people from taking the fall because they're the ones that created the system and yeah they're, they're the <laughs> like, ones like for real the higher ups are them yeah they're and, the same yeah, perfect people yeah well if we get caught you know we we got to make it look like it's something we'll do minimal charges yeah or pay pay this or person that's my, off. that's my cousin so <laughs> they catch the right ones man y'all yeah. it's it's gonna it's gonna come a day you hit that right that right dad or that right mom that's like oh Y'all thought this bad shit crazy. Yeah, you thought this was sweet. Uh huh. You thought you really thought okay. You oh, and then I'm gonna get off of it. Drake Bell father finds out that Brian Pick was arrested for uh, child molestation. Uh huh. Drake Bell dad was like called his son. He's like, man, I'm so glad he didn't get to you. And Drake was like, man, I ain't even want to break my dad's heart, so I ain't tell him right then. Can you imagine that whole, that that's feeling? That's horrible. That's awful. That, that that's a weight. father's, that's a parent's only responsibility Woo. is to protect your children and to find out that you wasn't able to do that. How many years later? I don't even know how long that was. Man. After. Yeah, but. Watch your period. Watch your children. Don't let your. We talked about letting your kids spend the night places mm -hmm. and all yeah. that other stuff. You can't stop being so naive about this shit, man. That that other dad that drugged his drugged his, 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 daughter's his daughter's friends, friends. twelve years old. He put he put uh drugs in their mango smooth. This is. This you got is some disgusting people craziness, out there, man. man. Craziness. You, you got to watch everybody. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. But go watch it. Also, when you watch that one, watch this other show called Stolen. I think it's Stolen in Plain Sight. Um, this um little girl was kidnapped from her house, and the kidnapper, long story short ends up having sex with the mother and the father. I see that. Yeah. The neighbor. The, yeah. It was a neighbor that talked these people. <laughs> it's like, no, that family was just crazy as shit. But, no, it was crazy. It was absolutely insane. I don't know what it is in these people's blood, in their mind frames, where where people are just the manipulated. Talked. Y'all, I'm insane. gonna get one scene in this. Insane. That that yeah. whole story was like, what? <laughs> and to hear them <laughs> recant the story. <laughs> hey man, hey, one situation in this documentary. <laughs> it just won. the dad was driving the neighbor around. They were doing something. The neighbor then grabs the dad's hand. And puts it on his junk. <laughs> he just said, and I he, just and he, started to work him hold off. On. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Uh, the the neighbor was, he was on, you know, he was aroused. And he was like, and the dad was like, what's going on? He was like, I just need you to help me out right fast. And the dad gave him head. This grown, he just did it. He just did it, man. The neighbor done smashed the mama, the daddy. And then, and then. 
Man. Bye. Ooh, was, how many years yeah, well, it came out so many? I can't remember it was when it came ago. out, but man. People are wild. Folks is crazy, no, man. It it's stolen in plain sight, kidnapped in plain sight. I know it's plain sight because they he took him took abducted the, in plain sight. Abducted in plain sight. I I'm man. Man, man. Abducted man. by my teacher. Yeah, I ain't watching all this stuff. Uh moving on though. Um uh, a little lighter news. Uh y'all seen this this OnlyFans girl. I think her name is Amanda. J or dang man, I thought I had her name down. She's an OnlyFans content how, creator. I wonder, just when you said, I wonder how many uh subscribers or how many accounts does OnlyFans have? Because oh. it seemed to be popping. <laughs> OnlyFans, like, hell yeah. It's it's God damn, you know, like porn is like the leading industry in the world. Like oh, it's yeah. just hey, what is the like everybody got on. <laughs> <laughs> if it's people Pulling are thirty thousand a month, <laughs> people are risking it all, their lives to 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 uh, molest children. I'm quite sure they spending a couple of dollars to watch the person they love to yeah, see on true. Instagram. Would y'all come to my OnlyFans? <laughs> I'm saying I'm about to start posting some shit. Shit, some feet pics, chest pics, something. Tank I'm ain't airy. On the fans. I know, I know, I know. I can get a good five thousand people just want to see some hair on the body, on my body. <laughs> like y'all want to see my this hair on my body, show. man. I ain't. Be like, so we gonna take his clothes off? He naked right now. <laughs> 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 like, what's that? The guy called the caveman commercial. <laughs> <laughs> What is uh not Bigfoot? What they call squash, squash, yeah, squash, 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 Yeti. Yeah, Yeti. There right, we go. Go ahead, OnlyFans girl. I'm about to, hey, <laughs> hey. We can get there. I just need five dollars, five dollars a month. But this girl, she she became a nurse, and um, they came and uh, the hospital found out about her OnlyFans page. So on her third day working, they fired her because. She was showing that booty on live. I mean. And they have all, like, they, uh, I was reading that the hospitals and um, facilities like that have the right to basically discriminate against you if you're posting inappropriate yeah. and, you know, <clears throat> vulgar right. things online. Yeah, social media has a big swing on things. It's like you can't, regardless of if you at work, you still represent companies. Mm. That's why people can when so every now and then when somebody says something extremely racist online, people hit their job up like, hey, and they end up getting fired because the no. the company don't want to be associated. And we cheer and clap like, yeah, good for Target for firing this man after he said this stuff. It's like, well, the same goes for people that be doing porn. They don't want to be associated with that. Mm -hmm. So they got to let them go. Mm -mm. But. If she's popping, she gonna have a, just a nice. I don't know how long the career gonna be, but she can work long on OnlyFans for a little while. She got that body. She, <laughs> she? yeah, well. yeah. She uh, my thing is, what does that meeting look like when you go into your your boss man office or boss lady office and they turn the computer around? They're like, is this you? <laughs> you walk in, they're gonna be like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Mm, is this you? <laughs> Got, oh, what's that? Gorilla to, Grip? Gorilla Grip? 3,000? You, yeah, you fired. Gawkin. You got some more money, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, hey, Sean that was like, oh, subscribe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just want to support you. <laughs> However, I can't let you work here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the only time I want to be the boss, man, when you about to... You have to do your investigation and you have to fire somebody or just really figure out what's happening or uh, reviewing cameras of them stealing and not <laughs> like, hey, hey, is this you right here taking that money? Is that you right there? No, that's not you. Hold up. Let me zoom in right there. They look <laughs> like you. <laughs> no, you just about to fire yeah. them anyway. You just want to see right, well, Hold on. Let's scratch that one. Is this you? Is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Pull up everything. <laughs> 
Oh, it is? Okay. Uh, what about these next three? Yeah. That's you. <laughs> on camera. That that has to be the most funniest part of getting rid of somebody. When you catch them red-handed, you oh, can't yeah. lie. Yeah, something like that, yeah. I had to, I've had to fire people before. I didn't like it. No, oh, if I catch you red-handed, it ain't no. It was just over, like, performance and stuff. That oh. I feel bad on that one. Oh, performance. I didn't like it. But stealing. But stealing or something, yeah. I yeah. Like, yeah. hey, black man, look, it, this is a big corporation. <laughs> if you didn't get caught, it would have been more power to you. But yeah. we caught you, so. <laughs> On camera, red-handed, got your way. You, you see where the cameras are. You know mm. to go around the corner before you do that. <laughs> now, long story short. Now, why do people always say that long story short? Because you ain't telling the whole story. Well, we done told the whole story. In short. Uh, <laughs> in conclusion, y'all that are trying to be nurses or have some jobs that require you to be, you know, face, what is it, face front, front face, whatever, talking to people, uh, you might want to second guess your OnlyFans situation. Yeah, she gonna have to step up her flexibility now, cause yeah. she was already on for OnlyFans, wasn't she? Yeah, I wonder and then why went she went to get a job. She probably got one cause she needed insurance or OnlyFans need double to, check. It, yeah. Being a nurse, OnlyFans need to offer insurance since they're getting people fired out here. They got the school teacher fired. Sure enough. Dang, we oh sure no yeah that lady <laughs> yeah you brought that up <laughs> Golly. that'd be wild. I'm about to I'm about to look into that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep y'all updated on my yeah. on my only fans. Gonna be called page. Harry Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Goose. <laughs> How y'all doing? You're just sitting there, just you said I'm gonna shave annually. That'll yeah. be the big promotional. I'm gonna all this is coming. I'm gonna take off the sweater. <laughs> Woo. Every week is gonna be a different body part. <laughs> the booty ain't gonna be able to tell none of them apart. <laughs> Like, uh, I need to subscribe to some people's pages to see what's really happening, to see how is far it, in yeah. depth I have to go. I'm wondering if is it just like a post like on the other social media, or do it be like long videos? I think it's long videos, and I think it's y'all want to see me play with myself today, or y'all want to see my I'm nipple. A, y'all want to? I'm gonna start doing fixing shit shirtless. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna start. Yeah. And then, then I'm gonna go to speedos. Do the, <laughs> and the camera I was gonna be on the floor. As <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just get, that, sure, get that Eiffel Tower yeah. shot. <laughs> like today, today I'm working on the sink. They don't even see the sink. They yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. All right. Had one of them balls slip up. Oh, oh. That's one. Okay. All right. Let it swing a couple times. Hey. I'm gonna put it back up. It gotta look like an accident. That's a little. That's, that's sexier. What y'all think? I wanna. I wanna. I'm. A, I'm about to do some research. I'm about to see if there's men on there making money like that. And OnlyFans isn't only for pornography. Just for you all to know, people post like regular content on there. Oh, I see. I didn't know this. Either. Yeah, and that's the thing about OnlyFans. They they started. Well, they ain't even start like that. It's just. That's how people, that's what people they start They probably doing. went over and realized, oh, I could yeah. get all the way loose on here. Oh, yeah, they they getting loose. From from my knowledge, I don't know because I, I ain't subscribed to nobody, but I might give somebody $2 today. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You know, they, Does it see what, yes, see, <laughs> see what you're doing on it? Unfortunately, it might have to be a handyman so I can see what he doing. And that's yeah, going to be terrible. Gonna, I'm like, you ain't going to see nothing but tank. <laughs> You're going to see Cheeks and Tank. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, I got, to, I got to do my market research. Uh, <laughs> Two dollars. That's all you get today. Two dollars. Uh, moving on. Moving on. Yeah, I know I travel every weekend. Uh, well, most weekends. And now that they have this, all these Boeing airplanes are having all these emergency landings, wheels falling off, doors popping off, uh, the wings are peeling off, literally the the paneling of wings are uh, peeling off while they're in the air. Um, it's crazy. And then on top of that, 
There's a whistleblower named John Mitch Barnett, 62. Unfortunately, he passed away. They found him with a gunshot wound in his vehicle. Um, they saying it was a suicide. But the crazy part about this is that John was a whistleblower for Bowen's safety department. And he basically was telling everything that he that they didn't want him to say. So parts were not being installed properly. Parts were old. Uh, inspectors were inspecting. Let's say there's 300 items to check. They were checking 20. Um, and he worked there 32 years. So he knew what he was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so then he uh, opened up a lawsuit. He did some court cases. And then uh, March the 8th or 9th, March 8th or 9th, he went to do a deposition. And, oh, no, or before March 8th or 9th, I think they found him passed away on the 8th or 9th. Mm. But he was in process of, like, blowing up all of this Bowen oh, yeah. situation. Yeah, they had that man killed. And he was found dead in his car. His best, one of his neighbors, it's a female. She, a lady. A late. Yeah, I'm sorry. A lady. Uh, can't say female, even yeah, though you yeah. can't. Yeah. Even though if she was a female, she can't say female because people don't like female, yeah, apparently. I understand. Some people. I can it's regional. I can respect that. I don't, but go ahead, Goose. Okay. Uh, the This young lady. Young lady. What's maybe true? Because I don't know what she. <laughs> his neighbor. Know. Yes, neighbor. That's it. <laughs> his neighbor said said she had a conversation with him, and he said, "If I wind up dead, no, I did not kill myself." Now, now the neighbor is gonna end up. Yeah. Dead. Yeah. So. <sighs> This this place is wild, man. First of all, why are oh yeah, and then like he he started explaining like the the workers that are um, on these supply lines in these facilities are like drug addicts or ex convicts, um, um, people that aren't like into their job. They're just there completing a task and they don't give a damn what's happening that's every job though how many people you use how many jobs you done had with people walking around and don't give a shit okay like it's unfortunately you know what i'm saying so let me take the convicts out <clears throat> or whatever i said because convicts can obviously be presidents of the united states they can do whatever yeah, they want they do. can run again apparently <laughs> drug addicts though you're not doing nothing right impaired <laughs> on drugs you're just not music okay <laughs> let's say let's say music you can do music right you do music. but you ain't about you to ain't screw this else, yeah. you ain't you screwing ain't this boat no in aviation uh, architectural <laughs> <laughs> the the avia the uh hydraulic pumps, yeah. the actuators, the door hinge, all nah. these screws and nuts that's supposed to be turned a quarter inch yeah. to the left. Yeah. A certain yeah. tightness, torque, torque, torque down a certain amount. Yeah. You, come on. Nah. That's nah. um cause you know, years ago, I don't know how many years was that. It's happened it seems like it happens in seasons, but like Southwest was having issues with their plane. Everybody like, oh, don't fly Southwest, mm -hmm. this happened. Back this is ten years ago. Back then, I was saying Southwest don't make the plane. Yes, yeah, Southwest don't make. Plane. They just put their paint on it. Mm -hmm. They wrap it and put their logo and go on. Boeing, Airbus, these people make the plane. The engines are Rolls Royce, GE, mm -hmm. Mitsubishi. These people make this stuff. Boeing make the planes for everybody. So yep. does Airbus. So these people make so. And then and before people were, because it would happen to a single airline. Maybe they had two planes that this happened. Oh, don't fly American. Don't fly Southwest. Oh, Delta had this. Delta didn't make that guy dang plane. Mm -hmm. Even the people maintaining it, that's like one big union. Yep. It's uh, It is scary because 
Again, just like at your job, we got people watching right now at work. <laughs> I'm bored. There's a technician, an aviation technician right now watching something, and he's supposed to be, or she's supposed to be doing something to mm-hmm. this plane. <laughs> Missing all the screws. The planes, like, just from being, uh, I never worked for a, uh, other than being contracted of, uh, was remodeling a terminal. I never worked for, like, a airplane company, or the airline or anything. We just remodel the terminals. But seeing what goes on behind the scenes of just the people, like, a plane will come in, it'll land, they, you know, taxi it up to the jetway. Mm. Do you have people that do these checks? Most of those checks are mechanical. Like the pilot will do his flaps and stuff, and they'll mm-hmm. they might look at the tires. They'll refuel it, but it's not like these things are getting inspected every single time it lands. Yeah. And it, I don't know the lifespan of how long of a, a plane is like any anything else. It has a certain amount of hours that it can fly. Mm-hmm. Once it exceeds those hours, they're supposed to decommission it. Mm-hmm. So I came, it's called a D24, D50. I don't know. It's those planes that got like the jet, the jet engines on, it's in the back on top. I think it either has three or two, but one's on top mm-hmm. and I think two on the sides. Those got decommissioned because they were really old. I think FedEx and UPS bought a bunch of them because they was like, we could use these to ship, fly. Packages. Yeah, ship packages and stuff. <clears throat> So I, we used to see those all the time, like mm. sitting in like the storage yard of the airport. Like they just mm. a whole bunch of just planes just sitting there waiting to get bought by other people. But it's scary to see like this ain't no, you know, you your car not functioning right. You got a loose tire. Hopefully you would feel it before you get up past 40 miles an hour. Mm. Plane, it's a little different. I mean, you dying. Ain't no way around that one. I mean, I've, they've landed planes with, you know, missing tires and the remember the landing gear was turning sideways yep. on that American flight. Pilot was phenomenal. He he made it happen. Shh. Scary, I'm sure. I don't want none of that. But you got, yeah, like you said, in the middle of the area, you was sitting there watching your flight, you look out and see a panel fly off. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I just go to sleep and just wake up, hey, Granny. <laughs> 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 What's going on? Welcome, like, <laughs> welcome, son. <laughs> Who are you? You look familiar too, sir. Oh man, <laughs> or ma'am, <laughs> to the upper room. Hey, yeah, you going home, Playboy? Man, it's it's scary, dude. Like, but you got to do checks and balances. You got the. I get guaranteed. Look, what's messed up about him is I don't know what you do when you fighting a big corporation like that. You can't. You ain't got the money to just hire. Security to be with you at all times. Like maybe the day of a deposition or the week of you hire somebody. I don't know, but yeah, they that wasn't no accident. That man, these the Bo, Boeing, Airbus, these are billion, multi-billion-dollar corporations. Yeah, you not you're not escaping he, that. Nah, if he was gonna do that, only thing he could have did probably to survive was record every single thing he had to say about everything and just distribute that out. Or, that way the damage has been done. I don't need no deposition. You got the information. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or not, or surround himself around people 24-7. Like, I'm not going to the grocery store by myself. I'm not being at home by myself. I'm going to stay in a place where it's there's a video in and out. You know who comes in. You know who comes out. That'll slow it down. But somebody can walk up and be like, hey, money. Mark, your name Marcus? I'm like, yeah. yeah. Hey, here are 500000 I'm going to need you to go use the bathroom real quick. All right. <laughs> what happened to Goose? Yeah. <laughs> That's what goose. I'm saying. Yeah. Goose. Where you at? Goose. <laughs> uh, uh, come out. Oh, then got you. Where was you at, Tank? Oh, Man, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> Some dude gave me 100000 <laughs> And I said I was gonna split it with you. That's, that's exactly what they <laughs> like do. More hundred thousand in that bag. Nah, it's in ones. <laughs> you're not escaping when when people of that power want to see about you. You're gonna get seen about because people are um, wives and husbands pay people twenty thousand dollars to kill their spouse. Ten thousand dollars. 
yeah. kill they love one. Imagine with a billion. Can you imagine do. somebody that's making a tax write off? They ain't even spend the money. They can buy. That's a professional. Matter this of ain't fact, no ten thousand dollar hit. This is a million dollar hit. The person who killed Bert, Saint John Wick, the person who killed uh, Mitch, is probably dead himself. Mm -hmm. They probably killed that person who killed him. The dopest line I've heard when it comes to government and big money killing people. You mm -hmm. seen that movie uh, Shooter? With uh, I want to say I've seen Shooter. With uh, is it Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. Uh -huh. Where he was just like the uh, guy on the grassy knoll was dead, was buried in the uh, desert with a hole in his head by five o'clock. He was like, "How you know? I still got the shovel." Mm. Gone down the grassy knoll was a man that shot Kennedy. He was like the government when they hired him, he was dead before the week was over with. Dude yeah. was like, I know because I buried him. Like that's how these things work. Yeah. Like, You're not. They ain't gonna keep the person alive. No. It's like, and he who buried him better watch his yeah. death. <laughs> you ain't about to no loose ends, man. Yeah, no loose ends. Now nah, that line right in that movie sent chills. I was like, God dang. That's for real how that be working. Yeah. I um That's messed up though. That's uh, it is. I don't know what you other than making a public statement. I wonder You know what I'm saying? Like you make a public statement like this is what this is who I am, this is what I'm doing. Just know I am not suicidal. Just yeah. putting all disclaimers out. Just so they know, okay, we're gonna look guilty. I don't even know if they would care about it. they they on Trump level. They don't care if they look guilty. But you got to I would have. I would at this. Well, we're learning from all these peoples and the, and their mistakes. Oh uh, well, not their mistakes, but the things that happened to them. A Bowen, I just need this amount of money. Can we settle on this? And I'm gonna leave this whole situation. <laughs> your planes are your planes. What happens with your planes is what happens with your planes. Let me get five hundred k or two million or whatever it is. Because well, they could be like, oh, we could just take fifty and have you off. <laughs> like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. But on top of that, now they have this <clears throat> to worry about too: investigations, people. Because oh, that ain't gonna get tied back to them. Even if that was the case, yeah, yeah, look, yeah. I ain't trying to have Boeing come over here. <laughs> yeah, let's even get if, off. even if that's what did happen, that's not getting Boeing, tied back to them. Talking about them. I don't know. I'm okay. a, I'm a, moving on. I'm gonna mute that out of area. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Shit, I want to see Micaiah get married at one point. Uh, we talked about them squatters. Man, <clears throat> I always talked about men being just trash. But I had the worst experience at Starbucks with this man making my coffee. I'm I'm not speaking on all men. Why do you say male? Uh, this male. <laughs> You got even that. Yeah, <laughs> this mail was just terrible, man. I prefer customer service based jobs. Period. <clears throat> it might be because I'm a heterosexual man, but is that the right time? women? I prefer a yeah, woman to help me. Is okay. But um, women are just more pleasant and more like they just they listen to what's happening. So. This guy, Starbucks, hey, let me get Camera Macchiato, uh, uh, almond milk, hot, grande, and it's looking at him, and it's just like, he's just like, all right. And he goes, make a Camera Macchiato, cold, ice, cold. It was venti. And then, you know, when you make the caramel macchiato, whatever drink you make with the caramel in it, you get the cup and then you, you do the do the swirl with the caramel yes, around the edges. It. And he, make he, it pretty. Yeah, and you just like, oh, man, it's going <laughs> to taste so good. He didn't do none of that. Even though there. I asked for hot. He threw it in there with his hand. He, he, did. <laughs> <laughs> he just slapped that caramel in there. <laughs> he did whatever he did. Got the caramel just like right on top. And was like, and put it down. And I was like, oh, that, that can't be mine. That can't be mine. I was the only person in line. I'm like, that can't be mine. Well, actually, there was a guy in front of me still waiting for his drink. So I was like, sir, is this for Greg? He didn't even say my name. I'm like, is this for Greg? He was like, yeah, Greg. I'm like, uh, I asked for it to be hot. 
and um, a Grande, not a Venti. Oh. Uh, just gets the drink. There's trash right here. What would you do if he scooped the ice out? <laughs> Matt, you know what, what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're gone now. Ain't got time. Next. Hey. <laughs> so as this is happening, uh, two other women, young ladies, come up, and there's a girl also working behind the desk. They give their order. Man, when I tell you this girl took their order, wow, 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 did it all nice and was like doing this, doing that, dropping cherries and did making she, this. Did she bite a lip when she was Man, doing it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt when I was, when I was like, was oh. Like, oh. Shit, I'm, about to, I'm going to Starbucks when we when I leave here today. Uh, <laughs> it, was out, Starbucks, it was outstanding, man. Yeah, y'all shouldn't it be was drinking. Outstanding. Y'all shouldn't be drinking that stuff. It's bad for you. Especially in the plastic cups, man. All them chemicals and all that other stuff, man. I'm telling you. They, they out here getting us. But back to my story. Women are, when I'm selling merch at the shows, it could be 50 people in line. And the young ladies that be volunteering, they don't get pressured. They don't, they, I mean, they communicating with the the supporters, the people that are buying it. Yeah, mm -hmm. girl. I'm there trying to open, they folding things. I'm trying to open the plastic bag. I'm like, man, golly, what the? One of the you need you, you know you what need, you need, I your, need, you need to, the water you need the I forgot so your name you I forgot your, I told her I was gonna shout her out I'm gonna shout Damn you out in this podcast she reached over she was like look woo whoop, just whoop, like this him that's how you do that and boy. the bag just whooped over I was like <laughs> <laughs> goose she, pearl clutch oh, oh I was like <laughs> she like woo. I'm like, damn, okay. She, she was tired of waiting here, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what she was. They were smiling, but they yeah. were tired of waiting. Damn, boy, shit. Man, all day. she knocked it Country out the park. <laughs> man. <laughs> and the men wasn't good for shit. And then help me out. They just sit there. Where, where I put the card at? Where, 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 that would have been you. Where, 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 where. Look, you spoke, you, this would have been good. <laughs> Now, you know you, you should have this stuff ready by the time we get up here as customers. <laughs> <laughs> I probably these, would. You got all these people over here waiting on you to open up this bag. You should have opened them hey, up beforehand. Yep, <laughs> damn right. And Fuck what, ass men. But they were, and yep, this was L.A. show. They were there. The, uh, the venue, their internet wasn't working. So I couldn't even ring nobody. Or I'm yeah. there trying to get because the man that was in charge <laughs> didn't. He didn't know how to reset the internet. I called the 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 uh, goose is on the sink and ship with the, the man. man. He's just talking shit. Look at us going down. We ain't shit. <laughs> hey, if there's ever a sinking ship, that'll be the day I'm identifying as a woman. I'm getting on the boat. I'm like shit. <laughs> Hi, right, fellas. I'll holler at y'all. Take, take it easy. Take it easy. They gonna be like, Mr. Goose. I'm like, no, Miss. Miss Goosby. <laughs> Miss Goosby. Yeah, see y'all later as we rolling off. <laughs> go, go get <laughs> You gonna roll? You gonna be rolling? Wow. <sighs> they gonna be like, why is that boat so fast? Ain't it ain't just women and children on the boat. I'm in front. Ha! <laughs> 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 Something's going. Why that boat so fast? Ooh, they got a strong ass woman in the front. Goose over. You be in one of the other boats. You hear goose over grunting and rowing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Take my shirt off. They see that with all that hair. What? That's a hair ass lady. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey. Two thousand people died on a cruise ship. <laughs> Only one man survived. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out there. Hey, had to jump off that boat. Save. I swam all the way to shore. People made it happen. Miss, like, where's the rest? Where's the, where's the rest of the people that was in your boat? <sighs> they didn't make it. They ain't, they, they ain't make it. Oh man, <laughs> had to be crazy. Yeah. All right, fam. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Goose, go on, let them know where they can find you. I ain't had no more topics, man. Man, we had an hour. I got to go. Tenfold. Uh, <laughs> my name is... Uh, <laughs> I was about to say my name is Greg Goose. Uh, 
Gregory you Goose. Catch, <laughs> you can catch me on IG. That's G O L Z B Y. Building with Goose on YouTube. Underreptmerch.com is where you can buy my merch. Um, and underreported on YouTube is where you can find my wife. <laughs> he made himself cry. Yeah, man. That was funny there. Hey. <laughs> Y'all can find me on Instagram, Marcus on the Ground, Facebook, and Marcus on the Book, TikTok, and Tank Don't Talk. Y'all can find my building body, but a man shit, M A N S H Y T dot com. Check it out. Oh, we already said it on all the other podcasts. We're going to say it on here. Congratulations to my wife, Angel, for winning Social Media Influencer of the Year, NAACP Image Award. Crazy. Hey, congratulations. She did that I seen it from, I've been there from the beginning, and I never doubted them. <laughs> never doubted <laughs> That was the only doubt. <laughs> 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 nah, hey fam, uh, we'll holler back at y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.